Well, hello there, folks. Happy Sunday to you. It's lovely to see you again as usual, and I hope that I find you very well indeed. Then you've had a good week and managed to have some nice, tasty meals as well. So welcome back, or if you're new and it's your first time here, my name's Cheryl. We're a family of four from the west coast of sunny Scotland, or not so sunny at the moment, and it's just the food that I've made throughout the week for the family dinners. I always start off on Monday all the way through till today, which is Sunday. Sunday. And if I've done a video recipe on anything that you see here, I will always leave it linked underneath this video so you can get straight to it and watch and make it for yourself if you like. So on Monday, we had chicken enchiladas. So I'm doing the videos a wee bit different now. I'm going to show you what it looks like at the end and then take you through the plating up. I think that would be quite interesting. Let me know what you think of the new format. So this is the chicken enchiladas here. I use the old El Paso kit and you just add your own chicken and your own cheese, your own vegetables. They supply the wraps and the seasoning, which I guess you could buy, you know, just on their own. But I just like to buy the wee kits because they're absolutely delicious. The level of spice, you know, is perfect for us because you can buy different levels of spice. This is the mild cheesy one and we had some steamed broccoli on the side as well, which I think goes really nice with it. And this is the kit here. Yeah, it was the cheesy baked mild. So it's one chilli out of three, which suits us because we don't all love chilli the way I do. And then moving on to Tuesday, we had very simple chicken Kievs. So these were the chicken Kievs from Aldi. So this was me and Mr. What's for Tea had these. We had some buttered sweet corn on the side and then some creamy mashed potato as well. And although this looks really, really beige, it's lovely because the inside of that wee chicken thing is filled with garlic and butter. And when it's pierced, you know, it floods out and it's just lovely. So that's the creamy mashed potato on the side and then that wee chicken Kiev as well. And one of you actually told me to prevent your chicken Kievs burning in the oven, which can be an issue. If you pierce the top, I guess that lets the steam escape and that, you know, it doesn't build up as much. And it did actually work. It still did burst a wee bit, but nowhere near as bad as it normally does. There was actually still some of the garlic butter left inside, you know, a wee pool inside, which I was really chuffed about. So I will be doing that one again. And then moving on to Wednesday, we had these wee individual mince pies, which we love. We love a wee pie with our mashed potato and peas. We don't usually have quite as much gravy as this. I think I was a bit heavy handed <laughs> with the ladle. We do like gravy. We just don't like too much gravy. And especially if you're having something like a pie, which has got gravy in it already. You know, I don't like to add too much, but yeah, we, I went a wee bit overboard this time. So again, with the creamy mashed potato and I put some parsley and butter in there as well and it's just lovely that's that wee pie there so that's steak mince and gravy and onion inside just wrapped in sweet or savoury short crust pastry and then some garden peas at the side these are the aldi garden peas as well and then some beef gravy over the top but like i said i was a wee bit more heavy handed than normal with the gravy but it was still tasty you know at the end of the day it all just gets mushed in together and goes down a treat and then moving on to thursday we had tuscan chicken pasta so this is just a standard Tuscan chicken recipe but instead of having it with mashed potato the way we would normally have it or even with rice I've put this through some penny pasta. My local Italian restaurant does a Tuscan chicken pasta very similar to this you know you've got your sun-dried tomatoes, parmesan cheese, garlic, creme fraiche, tomato puree is just lovely and I've diced up some chicken breast and cut that up and put that through with the penny pasta as well. Oh, it's just lovely. I will definitely be doing this one again. And we had some Parmesan cheese on top and some pepper and then some garlic bread on the side as well. And it looks like an awful lot of pasta there, but these wee yellow plates, there are a few different plates that I use, but the ones with the yellow border, these ones are actually quite small. They're smaller than the white ones, which is why it looks so much more when I serve anything on the yellow plates. And then moving on to Friday, another pasta dish. We love macaroni cheese and we, we've got it here with chips, which is going to horrify a lot of people, but it's very common here. You know, some kind of 
a pasta, whether it's lasagna, macaroni, have it with chips and then some baked beans at the side. It's a proper, you know, a proper school dinner dinner or a proper 80s dinner, I would say. So that's just some air fryer chips at the side there. My standard macaroni cheese, which I do in the hob and then finish it off in the oven just to melt the cheese. Sometimes it goes brown and crispy. Other times I'm too impatient and it comes out early like today was. And we had some baked beans on the side. And honestly, I know it looks horrific, but it's really, really tasty. And all those flavours mingle. It's just lovely. Then moving on to Saturday or yesterday, another pasta dish. We do love our pastas. And I know a lot of folk moan, you know, there's three pasta dishes in a row, but it's just so versatile. And although it's three pasta dishes, they're completely different, completely different flavour profiles. We do love a lasagna and making it in these wee glass dishes it just holds it all together and it doesn't all fall apart you know which it can do if you don't let it you know rest properly if you do your lasagna the night before it'll hold its shape beautifully but if you make it in the same day and you're trying to cut it into squares it'll just slide everywhere but it tastes just the same and we had some garlic bread sticks which I had in the freezer on the side and then moving on to today we had good old mince and tatties now I would normally do my mince and tatties with mashed potato and swede but just for a wee change I've done it with the new potatoes because I had to use them up and I also had a bag of um, balls of doom or brussels sprouts which I had to use up as well so I just steam my potatoes and then I toss them in some garlic some butter and a wee bit of parsley as well and that's the brussels sprouts again I just steam these I finish them off in the pan with a wee bit of butter just to give them a bit of extra flavour and that's some beautiful steak mints which I got from a local butcher I put some onions in there and peas and carrots just because I had to use them up again sometimes I don't add anything I'll just make the mince and onions and that produces a beautiful gravy and all you have to do really is thicken it you don't have to add anything to this because it's lovely butcher's mints you know it does have a flavour all of its own. So that was everything that we had this week. So thank you so much for watching. If you're still here at this point, and do let me know what you think of the new longer format. Like I said, it does make the videos a wee bit longer, but I think it makes for a nicer overall video and it isn't as rushed. So do let me know what you think of that. And a huge thank you as usual to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page and to the channel members here on YouTube as well. And I do need to update those lists, which I will do in the next couple of weeks because there are new channel members and there are new Patreon supporters as well. So I am aware of you and I will be updating that soon. But thank you all for watching and for those that share the videos and comment as well. And I'll catch up with you off as soon back here on What's For Tea. So take care and bye for now. Bye now.